Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. And this will lead us into our next topic, but I think the biggest detriment to this generation and to the world as a whole is that social media has made us have access to more people and more information, but it's also made us dumber because we don't vet that information. We don't actually test that information out. We just go with it blind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's a lot of following just because it will put us in the algorithm as opposed to following because that actually makes logical sense and that works in the real world like there's people who can't even talk to each other verbally because they don't know how to they only know how to tweet they only know how to post they only know how to give their opinion based on what the algorithm says is trending like it's to the point now where you can't even you can't even go eat breakfast or dinner or lunch in a restaurant without a full dance break happening because of trends. And there was a time when there was a decorum to like how you talking about Juicy Crab. You talking about Juicy Crab. But like you look online and you see like these niggas at brunch and this bitch is back flipping down the aisle doing splits because she done seen a dance trend and she got to prove that she can dance. Like, why are we so stuck on, like, I don't need a TikTok right now while I'm trying to eat. Damn, you are back flipping across my motherfucking salmon. More are, people have empty lives than we think. You are crumping over my goddamn biscuit. Like, back fuck up. Like, be a normal human being. Have a can just be, a moment. Can I be um, openly honest? Ah. Man, this is the part that you could be openly honest. Anytime, my boy. I don't like dates. I don't I like. Never like I never like dates. You know what? I it never. Is? I never did ever, ever, ever. If we go out and we just to. add some context to that in a minute, because I'm a, I'm yeah. a, I second your motion, but in a different way. Like, like, all right. If we chilling out and we're just looking at it, like, all right, I already been talking to it. That's all. Oh, uh, we cool. We just chilling out, and we're just just doing some stuff or whatever that's cool but as far as a formal date fuck no everything about the damn date is like nothing about that is fun to me period and now you want me to do this for somebody that i just met and i don't know if she gonna even like my ass after me. nothing about the date just sound like an appealing thing to me like so nah you want to chill we can chill we can go out. We can do fun things. But as far as that, that that formal date stuff, man, you got we got to put in some points first. Like that shit is dead to me. That Yo. shit been dead to me. I got to spend. I'm about to rent to. I'm about to spend. <laughs> I'm about to spend money to do all my other shit that I got to go through the week. Now I got to say spend this money to go get gas. Go get you. <laughs> go get you. Go get you. Then we go to wherever we going. Feed you. Then after I feed you, we gotta go. I gotta go somewhere to entertain you. Right? Now now mind you, if I'm cool with you, I don't mind this. I'm not even thinking about the price or whatever. But all right, we go through that. This that, and the third. Let's say I'm even having a great time while doing it. Now anytime there's a date involved, I'm apprehensive. Pretty much. Or whatever but then we we'll go through that and then for some reason we don't click i say to myself all right so how many times am i going to do this to see keep going keep going keep going uh, oh. like how how many times i got to do this to see if this is going to work no i just don't know and it's always something it's always I, I'm sorry. I just point out my life. I'm selfish. I don't want to do everything you want to do. You know like what you, you got to goddamn make me convince me that this is a great idea at this point. Like seriously, 